Hello Leo, <clears throat> welcome to my channel. So today we've got a second half of September 2020 general reading. We're going to take a, an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of. Recent, past, immediate, future and outcome. We'll clarify those and get a message out there for you. It's not going to resonate for every Leo out there, so do check out your replacements, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, any stellium you might have in your chat for further messages and thank you for the like shares and subscribes it helps the channel grow so uh, if you haven't done so please do uh, I want to continue doing this so I need those numbers up and if you want a private reading do feel free to reach out and uh, details are in the description box below right. what have we got for Leo we need one more So, current situation, oh dear, the tower, dun dun dun, don't be too scared, I mean I, I enjoy the tower, purely because if the foundations weren't right to begin with then there's no point delaying it any further, you know, let it crash, let it rebuild. Okay, what are you aware of? I'll, I'll pop about first. You're aware of, not aware of, recent past, immediate future and outcome, okay. Bottom of the deck, two of wands with the five of cups and the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries. Um, you're very upset about the situation that you've chose, I feel. Either you or your person that you've been dealing with. Um, I've really stepped into the wrong really um, gained confidence. I'm gonna say it's you that's that's done this. Um, I think you're really coming into your, uh, your own passions again. So obviously the issue, the tower, um, you know it's breakdowns in all sorts of communications whether it's breakdown in stability, relationships, whatever, whatever just needed to fall has fallen. What you're aware of is the Three of Cups. So I kind of feel like there was a third party that's been in this scenario. Um, what you're not aware of, there was more than three, essentially. And there was a lot. Energies can change, so this could be you that was having more people bad. I feel it's a mix. I feel some of you were this person, others I'm talking to, is what, is what was done to you. Recent past is the Ace of Cups, so you've met somebody that you've kind of really fell in love with, I feel. This has all happened, and it's made you re-approach the situation. Because um, I kind of feel like I'm reading this in the negative, so I kind of feel like your confidence is knocked at the moment. But the outcome is the Ace of Wands, reigniting passion. With the Three of Cups here, it could be a reconciliation somewhere. But I kind of feel like this person put you in a situation with many others, you know. For some reason, this, this, they're showing me the seven and the three of cups uh, and making me minus it. So there could have been four people involved. They, they could have had four others on the go, uh, you know, seven minus three. Uh, so I'm seeing four cups, whether one of those cups is you. Uh, and there was... They had two other people, or whether they had four people on the go, however it fits with you. But this person had a lot of options, and they played with them options. I kind of feel that's the Queen of Wands was it's a very sexual energy. Um, maybe the, if the devil shows up with me, you know, we may be dealing with somebody that had a sex addiction, uh, however it fits. But this person's put you through third party situations many times because of all the options they had. Okay. But it's all come out now because the tower is here. Let's get some clarifiers, one more. Okay, tower with a nine of swords, yeah. Definitely. Sleepless nights, worried, anxiety. Let me get these out.
Ace of Pentacles bottom of the deck with the Two of Swords and the Eight of Wands. And the Emperor again popping up. So the Emperor's here twice at the bottom of the deck. So you could definitely go with an Ares. This could be a twin flame that you've dealt with, you know. With the Emperor. The Empress has come out as well before I uh, shoot my mouth and confuse you. Um, but I kind of feel like. This is being divinely guided back to you. This could be a reconciliation with somebody from your past. But it's something that you're not willing to entertain. But I'm kind of getting the impression that you're not going to have much choice about that. So your current energy is a tower with a nine of swords. It's depression, essentially. Um, you know, worry, anxiety, sleepless nights. It's not, not pleasant at all. Um, yeah, the Three of Cups with the, with the King of Wands, this person's um, put you in a situation there. They almost think they're God's gift, is kind of the energy I'm getting here. They think they're God's gift to women, God's gift to men, however it fits. And, I don't know, it's kind of like a, an arrogance about them, essentially. What you're not aware of is the Seven of Cups with the Empress. They're getting realisations now. I think you're the Emperor. Again, energies aside, uh, the Emperor can very easily be a female and vice versa. Because um, the Seven of Cups with the Empress, I kind of feel like this is your person realising that you are divine counterparts. And I feel like they're, they know they've screwed this up. I don't think they offered you the love. They just wanted to, I don't know what they're... They were too immature, too immature for your love. Um, in the immediate future, I kind of feel like They're trying to come back in with a, a needless offer, and I, 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 I genuinely think you're going to cut them away. You know, we've got the Ace of Wands with the King of Swords here. I think it's going to be too little, too late from them. However, I feel the universe is putting you back together. So I'm going to take another couple of clarifiers here because. Essentially, I just don't feel that this person's this person needs to grow up massively. Um, right, they've just jumped out there, so we're actually going to take all these. I don't normally take jumpers, but they really flew out of my hands. So, ten of pentacles, five of swords, six of cups, and the hangman. Okay, you just got to be patient. This person will change. Um, They see your worth now, and they're gonna they're gonna change. I, I I'm, I'm gonna take one more for yeah, ten of ones. Yeah, two. Ten. The offer's poor, essentially. You know, then five of pentacles. Their vibration's far too low. They may change if you're patient enough to wait for it. Fair enough. Judging by these cards, I would say no. Move on. Um. Maybe if they completely change, you know, then allow them back in. But I feel like, I feel like it's, the universe is going to bring you back together as a test. I think the test is know your own worth. And if these guys haven't stepped up, is when you turn them away. Come back when you're ready, essentially. They may, they may be ready, but not yet. Certainly not yet, um, but I feel they're going to come back before they're ready, and it's a test for you to pay, to choose you, and um, you know then they've got the healing to do. That's not to do with you. You you then get on with your life. If it's if if it's meant to be, they will come back. Um, you know the universe will find a way to bring you back together. 
but until then, until they step up, until they become the emperor or the empress, you need to you need to keep your distance from these. You need to cut them out with the king of swords here. Okay, Leo. Um, yeah. Good luck with that. Put yourself first. So we've got Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Aries, definitely standouts. Pisces. Uh, but everybody's here. Swords, wands, pentacles, cups. Everybody's here. Those are your standouts, though. So put yourself first, uh, and when they do come back, they're going to come back as a page. They're not ready yet, you know, until they're the emperor or the empress. No interest. Okay. All right. Let me know if it resonates, and uh, thank you for the likes, shares, and subscribes. And take care. See you next time. Bye.